Hello, hello. My name is Callista, and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. In the last episode, I promised that we would finally make a start on the Hinterlands, and I intend on keeping that promise. We are going to sort out the war table, and then we shall head off. Because our advisors should be back. They should be. It's been uh, 24 hours since I last recorded this, I believe. Yeah, there they are. Our efforts bore fruit. A portion of the profits will be passed to you. Use it wisely, Herald. Thank you, Josephine. Money is always appreciated. The Tern of High Ever. Commander Cullen, your honour guard was a welcome sight at the Divine's Vigil. As a measure of thanks, I am sending Ferelden arms and equipment for your troops. Sincerely, Tern Fergus Coosland. Thank you, Tern. And thank you, Colin. Contact Clan Lavellan. Darlene and Aran Atishan. It does my heart well to hear that you are safe. Our clan was visited by members of the Inquisition, who spoke persuasively of the good work you are doing, as well as the fairness with which our kind have been treated by the Inquisition itself. You know that Clan Lavellan has little by way of gold, but I gave the messengers some of our healing herbs, as Silas blessed us with abundance in our recent foraging. We would be a distraction if we came to the Inquisition itself, our hunters arguing with the humans as they so easily do. Nevertheless, if you need aid, send word and we are with you. Dareth Shiral, Keeper Istamathoriel Lavellan. Thank you, Liliana. There we go. Now we might as well send more people out. Whilst I'm here, let me just pull up my notes. Okay, what do we have? Um, you know, I, th I think this actually works out pretty well. Give me a minute. Okay, I want you for that. Ooh, close. Close. I was going to say we may be able to do a hard in Hightown 3, address a nobleman's concerns, and investigate Soralt. However, no... Not quite yet. Okay. Hard in Hightown 3, Varric's Revenge. Ruffles, I need a favour. Actually, let's call it a loan, since I'll pay it back. I got a letter from my editor in Kirkwall today. She tells me that Hard in Hightown 3, the repunctioning, appeared in print from an Antivan printer a couple weeks ago. I'll give you a moment to contemplate the horror that is that title. I had my contacts in the Merchant's Guild look for the author a couple years back. The best they could find out after spending a couple hundred gold was that Pyral Balenforth is a pen name. I could have told them that for free. You've got contacts with the Antivan print houses. Maybe you could find out more than the Guild, Farrick. Liliana says if this author has evaded the Merchant's Guild, the Crows might be a better choice for investigating him. And Josephine says, I could ask a friend in Antiva City to look into this matter, I suppose. And Cullen. Cullen isn't doing anything with this. Now, Ruffles is Varric's nickname for Josephine. And if he's asking specifically for Josephine, then I don't see why I nor would deny him that. At your service. Good stuff. Address a nobleman's concerns. Herald. Your Inquisition says it's for order against chaos, reason in darkness. If you stand by this, come forth and drive the heretics from my land. They claim to be refugees, but I have seen elves and apostates among them, filthy savages tearing at our roots. Our monarch refuses to send forth armies, and my own knights were decimated at the conclave. I require your aid to return peace to my lands. Prove your loyalty, and I will see you richly rewarded for your faith. Praise the light, Lord Kildan of Ferelden. Ainor's just thinking, this man seems like an arsehole, but oh, okay. Josephine says, ah yes, Lord Kildan, a pariah even among his peers. Let us send a polite refusal and nothing more. Liliana says, we can take advantage of his raving. My spies can harass the refugees into moving somewhere else to win Lord Kildan's favour. And Colin says, 
we could send a few patrols, but I would prefer they help the refugees, not this Lord Kildan. And Ainor's like, yes, Colin, high five over the war table, let us help the refugees. To work. And Liliana, you can just make me some money. There we go. Let's see what we have. And with that, oh, I should just warn you, the Black Emporium. So you can do this for free right off the bat. Like with them um, scouting the Storm Coast to open up a new area, this requires four, pa four power, excuse me. We can do the Black Emporium for free. Don't do it just yet. Because, um, for example, when you do click on these uh, little uh, triangle doodads, you get this very nice little uh, blurb about what's going on in the area. First, scout the not scout the Black Emporium, excuse me, for the Black Emporium, there are major story spoilers. And I am talking major story spoilers. So if you are playing this blind, if maybe you're kind of watching the Let's Play and then playing along yourself, um, don't click on the Black Emporium just yet. I will tell you when it is safe, but don't... I, I really don't know why they made it available from the beginning when there are such like literally it it tells you who the main villain of the game is like right off the bat it's i don't understand why they do this and um, yeah let's fast travel venture forth with our guys there we go i said i'd get to the hinterlands sooner rather than later and we have, we have over 20 minutes of the episode left. I got through the war table pretty quick. Game? Herald of Andraste. I've heard the stories. Everyone has. We know what you did at the breach. It's odd for a Dalish elf to care what happens to anyone else, but you'll get no back talk here. That's a promise. Inquisition Scout Harding at your service. I, well, all of us here, will do whatever we can to help. <laughs> Harding, huh? Ever been to Kirkwall's High Town? I can't say I have. Why? You'd be Harding and I... No, <laughs> never mind. Ugh. One, I love Varric's joking. Two, you'll get no back talk here. Only instant judgment because of some tattoos on your face. Nice, Harding. Real nice. Maybe get to know me before you start saying how odd it is that I care about other people. We're gonna be polite. Ionor is definitely thinking, oh, we are not getting off on uh, on the right foot here, but like, I'm gonna bite my tongue. I'm gonna be polite. I'm not gonna judge you on your rude words, despite the fact that you feel so easy judging me based on my appearance. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. We should get to business. The situation's pretty dire. We came to secure horses from Redcliffe's old horse master. I grew up here, and people always said that Dennett's herds were the strongest and the fastest this side of the Frostbacks. But with the Mage Templar fighting getting worse, we couldn't get to Dennett. Maker only knows if he's even still alive. Mother Giselle's at the crossroads helping refugees and the wounded. Our latest reports say that the war's spread there, too. Corporal Vale and our men are doing what they can to help protect the people, but they won't be able to hold out very long. You best get going. No time to lose. Okie doke, and oh, look at this. Look at it. Ah, I'm, 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 I get so excited. Look at the castle in the distance. Look at the flag flying in the breeze. Isn't it beautiful? I, I love this game so much. Okay, now we have things to do. We have levels. We have equipment to sort out. Let me find my notes. Now then, Einor has one. Okay, let's see. Where were we up to? The last one we got was the horse. So we want this one next. There we go. Next up, Varric. Varric, Varric, Varric. There you are. Okay, let's see. Okay, you already have that one and... 
that is one that we want you to get, but that was supposed to be point number eight. Okay. Um, point number one right there. Point number two was that one, so we want this. There we go. Cassandra. Right there. Now then, these ones weren't numbered. So this, I think with with all of the other characters, you'll, you'll probably be able to see what I'm going for. But with my weapon and shield warriors, you are probably going to be going, Callista, this is a mess. You're building them in a really weird way. I know. I apologize. I don't know how to make good builds in this game. This is, it is not a strong suit of mine, okay? I just play the game. Um, we will go with that. There we go. Yeah, that, that was correct. Excellent. Okay. And soulless body, I think I'm going to need to respect you. Because the build I saw, the build I'm using for him, doesn't have any of the uh, spirit tree skills. But yeah. The... Uh, magic barrier thing it is pretty good it is a really good spell to have i don't know mm. either way we're starting off here there we go okay that is everyone and inventory let's see ironor i think ironor is fine we could give her a belt yeah go on have that and her equipment is fine she's got a good sword okay varic buddy you have you have an accessory you've got a good weapon and i don't think we can improve your armor so you're good cassandra you can have the armor we crafted there you go because it is very good mm -hmm. and you know what solus you can have that. And we didn't have... No, uh, we, we could have Solus walking around in bondage gear, but no, I'm, I'm not going to do that to him. Yeah, that's level six. There wasn't... And that's level eight. Okie dokie, you know what? I also need to check. Cassandra, how are your weapons doing? Ooh! Yes, please. And how how does this look? Oh, that's really good. It doesn't have the, uh, like I said, I don't like this one because the wings tend to really screw up cutscenes. Yeah, this, this is great. Lovely. Very nice. Okie doke, let me just go back to my timer. There we are. Alrighty then. First things first. Where Where are you? Where are you? If my mouse will work. Is this you? Report. Dispatch for you. I said report. What is it? This could help us. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Um, so whenever you start a new map, you will have a requisitions officer who will give you what is basically like a little fetch quest and they're infinite. You fulfill one they immediately pop up on your mini-map as having another. I I tend to just grab them and never complete them. Because, like I said, they, they will just go on infinitely. Now then, where are we going to go first? Oh, the, the world is open to us. We could go anywhere. There are rams. There are rams for us to kill and fennec foxes to awe at. Oh, um... Let's take a look at the map. Ooh. Oh, that's a question. Mm, why have you done this to me? I was going to say, let's go deal with the main quest and pick up Mother Giselle. But there's a question mark. I want to know what the question mark is. I... I'm going to be good. I'm going to be good. I'm going to ignore the question mark for now. We're going to go save the refugees. We're going to loot a house before saving the refugees. What can, I like looting. I can't help myself. I can't. I have a problem. 
I have issues. Don't judge me. And you. Lovely. A letter in an empty home. Brithis, I know you escaped with the other mages and I know you'll come here. Father told you that if you ever strayed, he'd put you down himself. If you're here, you know he's dead. But I'm not. I'll be killing apostates and waiting for you at Old Fenix Place to the north. I've got Father's sword and my true brothers in the Templars. Come if you're man enough. Yavin. Interesting reading. Could be worth a look. It could be. God, it, it really is such a shame to see brothers fighting and it, oh, all because one of them was a mage and it, oh, God, that, that makes Ainor sad. Ainor, Ainor's an only child. What am I looking, oh, no, screw you. It's fine. You're on a hill. You're safe. And um, Ainor's an only Mother child. Giselle ought to be around here somewhere. Well, that's why we're here. We're going to look for her. We're going to keep her safe. Um, yeah, as I keep trying to say, Ainor's an only child. But, you know, she she loves her clanmate. She loves them like siblings. And she she can't imagine fighting with them. Oof, got some bodies. Oh, 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 hello? Hello? I see that. I, no, no, I'm being good. I'm being good. I'm ignoring stuff. I'm following the main quest. I can do that. I swear I can. Yoink. Inquisition forces. They're trying to protect the refugees. Looks like they could use a hand. Go, go, go. On me. And we are not apostate. I do not think they care, Seeker. Take him out. No, nope. no backing off. Yes. Okay, oh, incoming apostates. We are not Templars. We mean you no harm. Doesn't look like they're listening. Yeah, these guys don't care either. Mom? Uh, I, I know, would you like to? Oh shit. Come on, I know, I know, get up. On your feet, where am I going? Who am I attacking? Where is anyone? Screw you! Come on! Take him out! There he goes! Who Be next? Ready. More coming our way. Where? Where? Follow these guys. These guys know. They know what they're doing. Excuse me. And oi! Crack him! Yes! Everyone's doing okay for health. Well, uh, I know it's not, but things could be worse. Okay. There we go. Oh. Madam. No, oh, and you two. I see you. And you know what? <laughs> yes. Back him. Come on. Go down. have a big shield, but I have a big sword. There we go. It's done. There are mages here who can heal your wounds. Lie still. Don't... Don't touch me, mother. Their magic is... Turn to noble purpose. Their magic is surely no more evil than your blade. What? <laughs> Hush, dear boy. Allow them to ease your suffering. Mother Giselle. I am. And you must be the one they are calling... The Herald of Andraste. Hmm. 
I don't want them to. You're not against magic. You asked for me. Is that why I'm here? Ooh. Hmm. I don't... I don't necessarily think Einor is the type to get straight into business. I think she... I think she kind of wants to see what makes Mother Giselle tick. Why would a Chantry mother request to see someone that the Chantry has denounced as a heretic? I'm drawn to this. Because here's the thing, I was saying this before. With, with her companions, with the people she is interacting with regularly... Ionor 100% is going to make it very clear, I'm not the Herald, I no, this is not what I'm about, I don't believe I'm chosen, I believe it was a fluke, you know, just pure luck, whether you believe it to be good or bad, whatever, but like, I'm not chosen, I'm not anyone special, however, with, you know, with just everyday people that she's meeting on the street, like, I don't, I really don't think she has the heart to be, you know, saying, Oi, don't call me the Herald, how dare you? Like, it's it's kind of a dickhead thing to do. It makes her uncomfortable, people kind of worshipping her and, you know, devoutly following her. That makes her incredibly uncomfortable, but people need someone to hope in. They need someone to kind of act as a symbol of hope. And Ionor's like... Until we find someone who's maybe, you know, a little bit more qualified, fuck it, I'll do that. As long as I can leave that behind me when all this is done. Um, we don't, we don't really know who Mother Giselle is. I can't, I can't see Ionor saying this because we, we don't know how involved this woman is going to be in our adventure. Um... Yeah, what she said was very interesting. And it is, it's something that Ionor agrees with. Magic is no more evil than her sword. Like, it's, magic is magic, just like a sword is a sword. It depends on who is wielding it. You cannot judge one mage for the actions of another. You cannot judge Ionor for the actions of someone else who uses swords. So Ionor's like, oh, sh I, I can agree with this. But that is... A very odd, odd opinion for someone who is, you know, in the Chantry. What you said to that soldier, we do not teach that magic is evil. We teach that pride is evil and does not corrupt only mages. But I did not ask you to come simply to debate with me. Then why am I here? I know of the Chantry's denouncement and I am familiar with those behind it. I won't lie to you. Some of them are grandstanding, hoping to increase their chances of becoming the new divine. Some are simply terrified. So many good people, senselessly taken from us. It was a tragedy. Don't you support the Chantry? That's no excuse. And um, it was a tragedy. Like... It was a tragedy, end of. So many people died. The fact that they weren't the same religion as Ainor, it, it doesn't matter. They were people. They were people with loved ones and hopes and dreams and fears. And all of that was lost in a split second. That was incredibly tragic. I, I think on some level, Ainor does feel that that is no excuse. Because here's the thing. The common folk are terrified. The common folk are looking to the Chantry for guidance and the Chantry is just like, Who's the new divine? What the fuck happened? Ignore the hole in the sky. Uh, I want to be divine. No, I should be divine. Ba -da 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 -da. Like that's, they're just arguing, arguing amongst themselves and the common folk are just like, Hey, can we, can we have some help? We don't know what the hell is going on. Like it. It is no excuse that, you know, you're a, you're a global organization. You should have rallied behind supporting the people rather than grandstanding. But, like, it's... Th this isn't the time for that argument. I'm sorry, I just dinged my mic. I apologize if you heard that. And, yeah, it's... Ainor feels this, but what is saying that going to accomplish? It's going to accomplish nothing. We need to focus on the future. We can't... 
we can't get held up by our hatreds. We need to push forward and make things right. And it was ultimately a tragedy. What happened was horrible. Fear makes us desperate, but hopefully not beyond reason. Go to them. Convince the remaining clerics you are no demon to be feared. They have heard only frightful tales of you. Give them something else to believe. Appeal to them? Will that work? But they want me dead. Um, hmm. Again, I'm drawn to these. If she, if she didn't think it would work, then she wouldn't be telling us to do it. I think I know... I know his first impressions of Giselle is that she, she seems to want what is best for the people. She doesn't necessarily want what's best for the Chantry. She's just like, we, we are supposed to serve these people. We are supposed to be their spiritual leaders and we are not fulfilling that role as we should be. We need to make sure that they're safe and comfortable. And I in all respects that. So, hmm. Yeah, Aino doesn't get the impression that Giselle would kind of lead her on a bit of a merry chase, if you get what I'm saying. You want me to appeal to them? If I thought you were incapable, I wouldn't suggest it. Will they even listen? Let me put it this way. You needn't convince them all. You just need some of them to doubt. The power is the unified voice. Take that from them and you receive the time you need. Thank you. Are you sure that won't be easy? No, we. she has given us some very good advice. You know, we should thank her. It's good of you to do this. I honestly don't know if you've been touched by fate or sent to help us, but I hope. Hope is what we need now. The people will listen to your rallying call as they will listen to no other. You could build the Inquisition into a force that will deliver us, or destroy us. I will go to Haven and provide Sister Leliana the names of those in the Chantry who will be amenable to a gathering. It is not much, but I will do whatever I can. I do like Corporal Giselle. Corporal Vale is coordinating the Inquisition's efforts in the area. We should speak with him. And we will. I was going to say, I do like Giselle. I think she reminds me a lot of Wynn. What? What? Hello? Pardon? I... I thought someone was speaking to me, but I... Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Um... Yes. Uh, da 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 uh, My brain... What was I saying? I like Giselle. She reminds me of Wynne, but less. Wynne was very... She was kind of... She was a bit of a mother hen, and I don't mean that in a good way. She had a tendency to nag. She had a tendency to insert herself into situations that she really shouldn't be. And she also, she thought she knew better. Because of her age, she knew better than everyone. And if you had an opposing opinion, then it was because you were young and naive. And eventually you'd realise that she was right. And I really didn't like that about Wynne. I was just like, she, she was so overbearing. And I, I really, I really didn't like that. And Giselle, Giselle can get a little bit overbearing. At times, she can get a little bit like, oh, oh, shit, game, game, no, no, I am devastated, what the hell has happened, what the hell is going on, oh god, oh, give me a minute, give me a minute, Oh, balls! These people. Well, that's fortunate. Okay, we didn't lose 
any progress, thank goodness for that. Um, yeah, I am going to sign off for this episode and hope that that was just a random crash and not anything more serious. Uh, in the next episode, we explore the hinterlands. But until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below. And if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.